I think Fear the Walking Dead is a stupid name. The show should have been called The Walking Dread because dread means fear or it's synonymous with fear. It also wordplay on dead, dread. See what I mean? The Walking Dread would have been such a better name for this show than Fear the Walking Dead. For official purposes and doing this video so we're all on the same page, I will refer to it as Fear the Walking Dead. But The Walking Dread would have been a totally better name. Anytime I talked about Fear the Walking Dead with a friend, the most common remark I heard from them was that it was slow. I don't think that's a bad thing, especially for this show. Fear the Walking Dead tells the story that we missed out on in The Walking Dead, because in The Walking Dead, the show starts when Rick wakes up from a coma, and he was in coma for about three months. It doesn't give a lot of time to do things, so taking the show slow is a really, I think, a really strong choice. The first three episodes happened over the span of maybe 24 hours. The second three episodes, after just a short time jump, happened again over just maybe a day or maybe a couple days. They're taking their time with it, and I like that. The focus of Fear the Walking Dead has been the fall of society and governments and military through the story of this group of people. Civilization and society just falling around them so fast. We get to see that in this show. You get to see how fast that society breaks down when put against this threat. And I think that's been really interesting. That's been one of its strengths is that it's not a zombie apocalypse or a zombie horror show. It's uh, the real fear is that everything we know is just destroyed. Life as we know it is completely gone, and that's the big fear and the big theme of this show, and, I, and they did a really strong job of focusing on that. The only real weakness I saw in the show were its characters. I didn't think the characters were... Uh, strong enough. There were a few really strong characters that were very well developed throughout the six episodes of the first season, but overall the character was kind of like, eh. Uh, especially two characters that were very inconsistent. I'm talking about Madison and Salvador. Madison, who was the mom and the, the guidance counselor, when she is speaking directly to police officers or military soldiers or someone of authority, she's very confrontative, she's very defensive, she's very in their face, she's very not trusting of them. Yet, if anyone ever asks her what they should do or what's going on, her answer is usually, oh, we should trust the authorities. And this happened a couple times. It was very inconsistent and that stood out. Also with Salvador, uh, who was kind of the hard-ass uh, older father taking care of his wife and his daughter with the group uh, they met up with. He was very, he wanted his family isolated. He did not want them interacting with the other people. He was like, no, we're going to do this on our own. Yet he's always going to the other group saying, oh, you owe us, you need to save us. Uh, and he doesn't want people telling him what to do. He doesn't want people, uh, you know, influencing or talking to his family. Yet there's a scene where he, without any, you know, without talking about it with anyone, is uh, interfering in the other group's life and teaching one of the kids how to use a gun. Uh, I'm not saying it's wrong that he's teaching how to use a gun. It was something he needed to know. But the fact that he was very firm on his stance of not wanting anyone to interfere with his family, yet he's going to go ahead and do it himself. It was just very inconsistent. Now that the season has wrapped up, the, the biggest fear I have for this show, see what I did there, is that it's going to become just another Walking Dead show. It's just going to be another group of survivors surviving another zombie attack in another location. I don't want that. I want them to keep the focus on the fall of society. In The Walking Dead, we see the remnants of the military coming in. We see what's left of society. We see the people who used to be regular people who are now uh, raiders and murderers and rapists and cannibals. Uh, you know, we see them as they, as they have already changed. In Fear the Walking Dead, it's giving us an amazing opportunity to see the fall of the government, to see the fall of the military, to see normal people trying to survive in this, in this world become these raiders and murderers and cannibals. I, I want them to focus on that. I want them to stay focused on that. And my fear is that they're not, that it's just going to become another zombie survival show. Hopefully, in the next season, they will stick with this theme of the fall of society and the falling of people uh, and the falling of just culture and uh, figuring out this new world.
I want to see people becoming the the survivalist groups of people that they are in The Walking Dead. I want to see that transition in this show. What did you think of Fear the Walking Dead? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on all the internets. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Check out my blog site so you can see all the reviews of my favorite TV shows that I'm writing. And subscribe to my channel for videos on Monday and Friday and so you can geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.